now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Again to the Lord. And again we pray for the repose of the soul of the servant of God, may on depart of this life. And that thou will pardon us every transgression, both voluntary and involuntary. And that the Lord God establish his soul where the just repose. The mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, the forgiveness of his sins. Let us ask of Christ, our immortal King and our God. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of the servant man on whose fallen asleep, O Christ our God. Unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father who is from everlasting, thine all holy good and life bringing spirit now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
blessed, O Lord, to the soul of thy servant who has fallen asleep. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, I love to ages of ages. Amen. There is none so holy as thou, O God. Give rest, O Lord, to the soul of thy servant who has fallen asleep. Give rest, O Lord, to the soul of thy servant who has fallen asleep. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Again we pray for the repose of the soul of the servant of God, admire and depart of this life, and that thou will pardon us every transgression, both voluntary and involuntary. That the Lord God establish his soul over the righteous repose. The mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, the forgiveness of his sins. Let us ask of Christ our immortal King and our God. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of thy servant, men on whose fallen asleep, O Christ our God. Unto thee we ascribe glory to the fathers from everlasting, thine all holy good and life creating spirit now and ever, and unto ages of ages. To the soul of thy servant who has fallen asleep. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Last 
Sweetness remains unmixed with grief. What glory stands unchangeable on earth? All things are but feeble shadows. All things are most deluding dreams. Yet one moment only, and death shall supplant them all. But in the light of thy countenance, O Christ, and in the sweetness of thy beauty, give rest unto him whom you have chosen for as much as you love mankind. As the flower withers and the shadow passes, in the same way everybody vanishes, when the trumpet calls, of God lying 
In the tomb disfigured with our glory and form. Oh, marvel, what is this mystery concerning us? And why have we been wedded unto death? Truly, as it is written by the command of God, who gives the departed rest? Remember us, O Lord, in the in thy kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the Please kingdom stand. of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they that do hunger and thirst for righteousness' sake, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness, righteousness see, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for thy sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets who were before you. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and out of the ages of ages. Amen. Buid mo meros, buid mo vahi meros in peace, be with you all. Premodrist wisdom.
This soul shall abide in goodness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Premodri, stand up for Božno. Let us stand and be attentive. Let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Mir, who in peace, be with you all. The lesson from the Holy Gospel of St. John. be attentive. The Lord said to the Jews that came to him, most assuredly I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment but has passed from death into life. Most assuredly I say to you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son to have life in himself and has given him authority to execute judgment also because he is the son of man. Do not marvel at this for the hour is coming in which all who are in the graves will hear his voice and come forth those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. I can of myself do nothing as I hear I judge and my judgment is righteous because I do not seek my own will but the will of the Father who has sent me. Amen. <laughs> Gospodi, vi pomolimo. Gospodi, pomolimo. Our Lord Jesus Christ, by his divine grace, as also by the gift of the power of shaped unto us his holy disciples and apostles, that they should bind and loose the sins of men. For he said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Spirit, whosoever sins ye remit, they are remitted, and whosoever sins ye retain, they are retained. And whatsoever he shall bind or loose upon earth shall be bound or loosed also in heaven. By that same power also transmitted unto us from them this my spiritual child, my in as mortal he has sinned against God, whether word or deed or thought, and with all his senses, whether voluntary or involuntary, whether with knowledge or with ignorance, if he be under the banner excommunication of a bishop or a priest, or a sin by any oath as bound man as a man by any sins whatsoever. But as repented him thereof, though with contrition of heart, he is now absolved from all those faults and bonds. May all the things which have proceeded from the weakness of his mortal nature be consigned to oblivion and be remitted unto him through his loving kindness, through the prayers of our most holy and blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of our Lord and ever Virgin Mary, of the holy, glorious, and all of apostles, and all home, the same.
Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee, hearken, and have mercy. departed this life, and the dollar pardon is every transgression, both voluntary and involuntary. Establish his soul with a just report. <laughs> Mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, the forgiveness of his sins, let us ask of Christ, our immortal King and our God. Oh God of spirits and of all flesh who has trampled on death and overthrown the devil and given life to the world, do thou the same Lord give rest to the soul of thy departed seven men on, in a place of brightness, a place of refreshment, a place of repose, where all sickness, sorrow, and sanger fled away. Pardon every sin which he has committed, whether by word, deed, or thought, for thou art good and the lover of mankind, because there is no man who lives and does not sin. For thou only art without sin, and thy righteousness is to all eternity, and the word is true. <laughs> Who has fallen asleep, O Christ our God, unto thee we ascribe glory to the fathers from everlasting thine all holy good and life creating spirit now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Premudris presitae bohorodits is pasenas. Slava to be in the Bosnia Dinasha, Slava to be. God, who has dominion over the living and the dead, through the intercessions of his all pure, all blameless Holy Mother, of our venerable and God bearing fathers and all the saints, he established the soul of his servant, the mind departed this life in the holy mansions. Number him among the just, have mercy and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. You may be seated.
Jakia. Tanya Lassie, Lara, and Lisa, the grandchildren, the family, the extended family, our community. Slava Jesus Christu. In the Nicene Creed, the 12 basic fundamentals of our faith, we teach and we pray. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the ages to come. With death, our thoughts lead us to the inevitable question, is there life after death? Is there a heavenly kingdom? And what it is like? The answer, of course, is yes, there is a heavenly kingdom. And fortunately, it is not at all what you see on television or in the movie theaters. In Luke chapter 16, verses 19 to 31, we read the parable of the rich man and the poor man Lazarus. Abraham says, son, remember that in your lifetime you received good things and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted and you are tormented. And besides all this between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed so that those who want to pass from here to you cannot, nor can those from there pass to us. Can we even fathom awaiting the happiness in the heavenly kingdom? Can we even comprehend this happiness? Is it possible? St. Paul teaches in 1 Corinthians 2, chapter 9. But as it is written, what no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man conceived what God has prepared for those who love him. The beauty of the heavenly kingdom is an eternity in God's glory. A life in eternity with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We are told to take our purest and our sweetest thought and multiply it thousands upon thousands of times. And perhaps then we may begin to realize the beauty, the sweetness of the heavenly kingdom. But even then it is not enough because God reveals himself through the Holy Spirit and through our Savior, Jesus Christ, through the scriptures. And we are specifically instructed how we can enter God's heavenly kingdom. Through prayer, through communion, and through forgiveness. In chapter 25 of Matthew, Verses 34 to 40, we read. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, O blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. And I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry or feed you or thirsty and give you drink? And the king says, truly I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. These are but just a few of the requirements or the standards for entrance into the heavenly kingdom. To feed the hungry, to welcome a stranger, to clothe the poor, to visit the sick. These are works of faith, works of Christianity, Christian deeds through Christian love. And if these are but a few of the requirements our brother and Myron definitely did 
do all of these to help people who perhaps were less fortunate to help people so that he himself will have this opportunity as a loving Christian, as an example for society to enter into the heavenly kingdom. In Matthew chapter 7, we read, If you then who are evil know how, to give good, good, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good things to those who ask? Enter by the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the way is easy that leads to destruction. For those who enter it are many, and the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to everlasting life, for those who wish. God's love for us cannot be measured. There is no greater gift from God than his love for his children, us. And this gift of love is the opportunity to enter into the heavenly kingdom and to be in his glory forever and ever. God gives to those who love him, to serve him, to acknowledge him as Lord and God and walk with him every day of their lives. In John chapter 5, we read, Truly, truly, I say to you, he who knows my word believes him, who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. The road which leads to the heavenly kingdom is not a joy about it. It takes a lot of commitment during our physical time on this earth. There are very many efforts that we are to be challenged with throughout our life. And we have with us an example today, a good Christian lifestyle, our brother in Christ, Myron. Our brother in Christ, Myron, lived an exemplary Christian lifestyle. His many years with us gave us the opportunity to see what is expected of a, a devout Christian, a devoted father, husband, grandfather, a devoted Christian for all of society. The journey of our beloved brother in Christ, Myron, is now approaching those narrow gates into the heavenly kingdom, and as a family, we have come together to pray as one to assist him in completing this journey. May God's goodness and mercy follow him all the days of his life as he dwells in the house of the Lord. Amen. Peter Myron Kowalski fell asleep in the Lord at his home with his family by his side on June the 8th. He was born in North Battleford, July 11th, 1941. And it was in North Battleford that he attended grade school and finishing off his high school while he was living in Saskatoon and attending the, uh, the collegiate here in Saskatoon. He joined the Sea Cadets while he was in North Battleford and he developed his love for sailing and not tying. During his time, Myron participated in many various sports, music, cultural activities, nurtured by Sunk, the youth organization, and he also danced with the Afshan dancers and belonged to the 4-H club. In his university years, he began his education in staying at Mohel Institute attending Utena College, and continued to stay there to study at the University of Saskatchewan. While at the university, he received his Bachelor of Education with Distinction and a postgraduate diploma from the University of Saskatchewan. More importantly at that time, he, led, he met the love of his life, Olasia Kindrachuk, on his many trips to Prince Albert with Sunk. Throughout his life, he was involved in various efforts to maintain and to grow the faith through the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, even while his time here in Saskatoon 
He, be he belonged to the Dibrova Choir as, long as, as well as the Church Choir. The TUS organization, the Ukrainian Muse Museum of Canada, of Canada, holding various posts, positions, and always helping where needed. Myron was first elected to the Legislative Assembly of Saskatchewan as an MLA in 1986 and re-elected in 1991, 1995, 1999, and 2003. He served there as a government whip and was a chair of the Standing Committee's House Services and Privilege and chaired the Board of Eternal Economy and Legislative Assembly. In 2001, he was elected the Speaker of the Legislative Assembly and re-elected as a Speaker in 2004. While he was an MLA, he held many various positions on various committees and also helped to develop the Ukrainian education in Ukraine. There is so many things that can be said about our brother in Christ Myron. So many memories that we will also be told about during the funeral luncheon. Myron was a good man, he was a humble man. I was very honored to call him a friend, uh, especially when we would get together on our special trips with the gentlemen, looking for mushrooms, berries, trying not to get lost or eaten by bears. But he was always there to help you out. It was one of those memes that, you know, if you'd fall down, he was there to pick you up. It didn't matter how big he was or you were, he always had the strength to pick you up and make you a better person. Myron is survived by his wife, Alasia, 57 years, daughters, Lisa, Lisa, and Wally, and Lara Kowalski, two grandchildren, Sam Wilkinson, and Anisha Zolki, a sister, Audrey Langhorst and Bruce, brother, Nestor Kowalski and Vesper, and sister, Sonia Kindrachik and Bob, as well as many nieces and nephews who were very special to him. Shortly, we will have the conclusion of the funeral service, where we will have the blessing of the fruits, the kolachi, the kolivo. This is a very special tradition in our faith and has been carried on for centuries. The baked breads, the kolachi, which are baked in a circle and intertwined, this is the end product of the wheat that we harvest. The Apostle Paul says that we are like a kernel of wheat. We plant the wheat in the ground, it sprouts forth a new life, and God helps to harvest this new life with us by baking the breads. And this is why breads are so highly regarded. They're holy for us in the Orthodox faith. Intertwining meaning that there's no beginning and no end, much like our life. Even though we may die a physical death, we live on forever with the prayers of those left behind. The fruits Christ teaches, bring to me the fruits of your labors. And today we bring the fruits of the labors into our cathedral, into the holy temple, to be blessed and ask that the Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ will also take care of Myron. The boiled wheat, which is at Christmas time called kolivo, but for the funeral services is called, or kolivo at Christmas time is kutya. The funeral service is called kolivo because the kolivo is just sweetened with honey. And this reminds us of the sweetness of the heavenly kingdom to come. Following this special blessing, we will sing the closing hymn, Vichna Imupamit, Eternal Be His Memory. And upon the completion of that, the funeral directors will guide us to the front for the final viewing, the Ostanya Tsilovnya, the final kiss. And we will be asked to make our way to the auditorium for the funeral luncheon and following the funeral luncheon in the auditorium, the funeral directors will gather us together where we will make our way for the funeral procession to 
the Hillcrest Cemetery for the interment. Christ is amongst us and always will be. Christos for Serenas. Господи, ви помолімо. Господи, помолімо. О, God, who created all things by the word and enabled the earth to produce food for us, that we might live, O Heavenly Father, we beseech you, bless this food, the breads, the fruit, and the wheat which you see before you. Bless this food, the breads, the fruit, and the wheat which you see before you. Bless this food, the breads, and the fruit, which you, and the wheat which you see before you. And bless also those who will partake of it, for their servants brought them for your glory and honor and memory. Of all the saints, we commemorate today in the memory of our brother in Christ, Myron, who has fallen asleep in the Orthodox faith, departed this will for a life eternal in the kingdom in heaven. To those making this offering that in remembrance of their dearly departed love and grant the Lord that their prayers be heard and answered, so that they might experience the sweetness of your good graces. Prayerfully, they pray to you, to the Blessed Mother of God and ever-Virgin Mary of all the saints, to you, our God, that blesses all things, we offer glory to you, together with the fathers, without beginning. You are holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Oh. <clears throat> unto blessed rest, O Lord, send eternal peace to your servant mine. Ublajani mu spini pošli hostni višni spoki spočili mu slu svojemu i včine imu višnoju pamja. You can bring the propeller. You can bring the propeller. Blessed is you, you have chosen and taken, O Lord. His memory shall be from generation unto generation, and his soul will be with the saints in blessedness. Amen. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May he rest peacefully. You may be seated.